Hey guys, welcome to Battle 2 of Season 2 of me playing the Pokemon trading card game online using the Mac client. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Basically, I'm setting myself a kind of Nuzlocke challenge. If you guys aren't familiar with Nuzlocke, um, they're kind of more associated with the actual Pokemon games. Um, I only just recently learned of Nuzlocke as I'm watching some ones Let's Play, where you basically set some prerequisites um, and you have to follow them. Like things like the guy uh, video I'm watching for the battle productions, I'll put a comment or sorry, a description um, link. Is uh, he's having every time he enters a new area, he, he can only capture what the first Pokemon he comes across unless he already has it. Um, he, if a Pokemon gets uh, KO'd on his team, it's dead. He has to then release it. So kind of like you know, sort of um, making the game a bit more fun, but also a bit tough. So my Nuzlocke challenge is um, every game I play a good game, the next one I'm going to use a bad deck and then I'm going to keep playing with that deck until I win. So this deck I'm using is Gardevoir and Swoobat and I'm not facing off all those Pokemon at once, this is a triple header. So I'm going to make each video only be three matches at a time and I will upload every single match. Um, so basically Gardevoir, Swoobat, Gardevoir's ability makes every circle energy count as two and Swoobat's attack Jet Woofer um, means that you discard um, the top deck from your opponent's deck for every psychic energy attached. So you can see it's quite a simple combination um, there. but. Having such fragile Pokemon is so hard to try and actually win. You wouldn't believe, well, you could probably could believe. So, yeah, um, let's get into the match and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, we get straight into game number one and I'm opening up with a Ralt, so not very good. Um, and I'm going for the tails and he gets the head, so I'm not going to go first and I see that I'm facing off against Darkrai. So I'm like, right, this is going to be bad quick. Uh, I need to get shit set up. I have got a Juniper, um, and he's now going to get an N, so I'm not, unless he's playing Hydreigon, I can use my Enhanced Hammers. If not, I'm just going to hope I'm going to Crushing Hammer stuff. Um, I don't really run many um, Juniper in this deck because I want to kind of keep resources like kind of strong on the other ones. And he's going to play an N, so he's going to give me, hopefully, a better hand. And he gives me a fucking atrocious hand. I've got a Swoobat, a Giant Cape and four Psychic Energy. So unless I can top deck a supporter, a Skylar to get something else, or a random receiver, it's not looking great for me. And um, that's, I think that's a Psychic Energy he attached. So I found that really strange, but now on his um, Dark Ride, and he's Ultra Balling himself a couple of times. He's got of two ends and a Bianca, and a random receiver, you know, and a catcher. So that's quite expensive stuff. And he gets another Dark Ride, so I was like, okay. And then obviously he's Dark Patching the Dark Energy he's discarded onto it and he's down to one card and okay we drew it into a computer search so we're gonna have to play this because we're gonna need to get a supporter so we're gonna discard the two energies and what support will you get we, oh please tell me I to get a supporter <laughs> why did I get it oh my god see this is one reason why I don't do live comms because it's kind of more funny me just getting angry at myself why the hell did I get a level ball I needed to get an N or something um so basically the Woo Bats, I didn't have four of any type of Woobat, I just had like mixed Woobats, so uh, I had to kind of just, you know, get whatever. I think I just wanted to try and mill him before he gets him with Eng on the field, but he's going to Juniper himself. I think he Junipered away another end. so yeah, three ends and all full up, so nice, but that's one thing I don't get. When people, I see people trading online, oh, I really want to give full up trainer cards. They do the same as normal ones and they... Oh, I just don't understand. In real life, yeah, cool. having full art ends is nice, but online, man, like just, I'd, I'd be happy having three promo dark rides. Um, yeah, anyway, I will no doubt ramble about that a lot more. So he's gone into his um, save line, and he's probably going to get back some of the stuff he's discarded away. So that's the great thing about save line. You can be kind of reckless and just get rid of trainers. But yeah, we've got a swoop out, and we topped it another swoop out, and. Are we going to put the energy on Rolt so we can retreat and mill him for one? That looks, that looks like that's what I'm doing. So I could have just let him die, but no, we're going to mill for one. And we mill a double colorless energy. So again, interesting to have DCE in Darkrai. Really weird. But um, So he's going to uh, switch into his Darkrai. And is that a special Dark? There's definitely special energy on there. I didn't see what he attached because I've got the tiniest preview window ever. But um, he's dropped another, another Darkrai and a Mew too. So. I'm guessing this is just a straight Dark Rime U2 deck. And um, obviously I survived thanks to the Giant Cape, but it's game. I've lost. I lost by not getting a supporter when I should have got a supporter. So yeah, that was awful. Um, so game two, let's hope 
we do a bit better. So we've got ourselves a swoop out first. We've got a couple. Of, we've got a trainer, a couple of trainers, and a supporter, and we get to go first this time. So hopefully it's been better. And there's a Mari. So okay, interesting. Interesting to see what deck we're going to be um, facing up against. I was quite confused. So we're going to get the Rolts, and we're also going to attach your energy and N and see if we get a decent hand, and we don't. <laughs> We've ended ourselves into a trainerless, so, well not a trainerless, but a supporterless hand. So we're gonna do Supersonic and get the Confusion, which, I mean, I can't even remember what the attacks of that Marip is, because I, I really don't, I mean, Amphros is kind of cool, but yeah, so he's got the switch into his Amolga, so that's nice, so he's obviously gonna be able to get some more basic Pokemon onto his bench, and I see a Zekrom, and Zekrom's gonna be a threat, because obviously, Swoobat is times too weak to lightning, so oh, he's gonna, my Swoobats are going to get destroyed. Um, so yeah, I've got the Crashing Hammer. There's no point really hammering away the energy that's on his um, on his Amolga because he can just, you know, get it back. And I'm going to get rid of my... What am I getting rid of? It looks like I'm getting rid of a hammer and stuff. So, to get out a card, and I guess we're going to get a Swoobat. So we're going to begin the milling process. We're going to get two cards, and I see he's got a Rayquaza and a Reshiram on his bench. So, we're going to get rid of two cards and start milling them down. We've got a long way to go, especially with this support on his hand. He's going to pop a Skyro Bridge in and attach a Fire Energy and a Giant Cape to his Rayquaza. And it looks like he's going to do the, I think it's called Celestial War, um, and discards some cards uh, and gets a Energy. It got a lightning energy on there, so we're going to go for the hammer, and hopefully we can get rid of that lightning. But no, we get a tails, so that sucks because I know these decks don't tend to run many. Not lightning, energy, fire. Not many fire energies. And look, we discard another fire. So if we can get rid of all his fire energies and hopefully his super rods, that'll be stuck. So we celestial rules again. And look, he's got three fire energies and a lightning. So yes, we get the heads. Yes, fuck you. So that now means well, we get rid of the lightning energy, but. Obviously he probably runs a higher lightning energy count than he does a fire energy count, so he has a higher chance of getting it, but but hopefully if we can mill him enough, you know, he won't be able to. So he's gonna go back into the Amolga. Okay, dude, go back into your Amolga. Sure, he's only got one card in his hand, so have I. And yes, look, another another energy. So that means we're gonna jet woo for another three cards away. And I see another fire and a lightning energy. So 25 cards left, we're over halfway. Over halfway, could this be the win? But he's retreated into a Reshiram and done 20 damage. But we've got ourselves a Skylar, so please, for the love of fucking God, get a Juniper from this Skylar. Please! Oh, I'm getting a Catcher. I'm getting a Catcher. I guess I was trying to kind of catch a stool on the Zekrom, but all I need to do is attach one energy to go back into the fucking... Why did I do this? So many Sharon's anyway, oh. Stupid play, stupid play. EXP share on his Reshiram. Okay, I'm already pissed off at myself, <laughs> but never mind. And yeah, he's gonna attach something to his to his Rayquaza. But another energy, yes, another energy as the card spaz out. That's four. Oh god, I wish I had got a wall set up so I'd be milling eight. And I saw more lightnings go, and that's 13 cards! 13 cards left in his deck. This is tense. This is tense, could this be it? He's gonna tool scrapper away my my giant cape, but that's kind of okay. That means I've only got 50 HP left, 70 HP left, sorry, because he has 90. Oh, and he passed the 10 again, so we can level ball. Um, we're gonna get a Curlia, maybe? What are we gonna get? Please tell me we'll get a Curlia, because at least we can start our evolution. Yes, Curlia, so hopefully we can top deck into that Gardevoir. This will be nice next turn, if we can survive this turn. And I saw more lights and fires, and is that a Professor Elm's training method? You fucking fuck. I hate the fact that people use old cards in new decks, and he's, ah, uh, you know what? Fuck you, pal. You may have you may have killed my fucking swoo bat, but you're seriously a massive FGT for using Dark Gold Soul Silver cards. I really can't wait until they make an update and separate standard and extended format because that is ah oh, okay. Rayquaza, fine. Rape me with your Rayquaza. Don't care. I got you down to like eight cards, so that was close. That was close. No, no MVP for us. According to the game, we did nothing. But uh, yeah, game three, come on, game three. Can this be the win after a mulligan? And another mulligan, I think. We'll get ourselves a Wubat. Right, Can close these down, come on, I'm feeling it. We've done some tweaks to the deck. You may have still had a Mewtwo in the deck before. I've got rid of that, we don't want a Mewtwo. I don't care about Mewtwo Wars. We're just gonna go straight out, trainers and 
having the swoop out. And yes, we're going first. And I see a Terrakion, a Reshiram, and a Kiru. So, okay, is this going to be some six, it's probably six corners with Vile Plume, you know, just using the strong basics, just outraging for times four. So we've got the rolls down and we're going to end. And oh, look at We've got ourselves the Gardevoir and we've got ourselves Ultra Balls and we've got a Skylar. So we're definitely, next turn, we are 100% having Gardevoir and a Swoobat. So, unless he ends me. Any random receivers, and he gets an end. So, okay, if he faces end, he's going to ruin my day. He XP shit, and he's ruined my day. So, <laughs> we would have had it next turn. And, okay, we've got a random receiver, but we haven't got any other um, supporters. And we've got Hammer, and also got a Tool Scrap all, and he joins me another random receiver. So, energy. Right, oh, we've got a Juniper. Cool. So, we'll um, do stuff, and we'll get rid of. The EXP ship. We don't want Terrakion getting any energy point energies on him. And I guess we should probably play that Juniper. Please play the Juniper. Don't run into it. There we go. Well done. We made a good play. Oh, and we've got a level ball. And we've got a rare candy. So, you know, if we can some we can sky the next turn for the Ultra Ball. And we could definitely, definitely, definitely have a guard of um yeah, guard of our next turn. So what we're we gonna do, we're gonna get a swoop back. Of course we're getting swoop back. Right, let's begin. The jet with it. and let's go for catcher stall. Yes, I didn't see the catcher hidden behind that in-game thing. So catcher forward that Terrakion. It's got a four retreat cost. Unless this guy's got switch, hopefully we can mill through his switches. That's gonna be stuck there for a long, long time. So he's gonna go to his turn and what's he gonna do? What are you gonna do, pal? What are you gonna do? I don't really want a Skylar for the Ultra Ball. Oh, I just wanna get another trainer. I love Skylar because it gets stuff you need, but at the same time, right, three energies on him, is that right? No, what are we doing? What are we, are we gonna do it? I think, okay, I think past me decided to Skyler for Ultra Ball and Ultra Ball away the um, energy and the super art, excuse me. Get Gardevoir, so that means all our psychic energies are now gonna count for two and hopefully, hopefully this guy will end me into a hand. <laughs> And we're going to jet woofer and get rid of... Oh, looks like we've got rid of two blends, which is nice. Not blends, sorry, two prisms. So that's obviously going to uh, annoy him. And he's going to share it. So you could have played a support that helped me there, pal. And he's put down a Zekrom. So, okay, cool. He's got all the um, the strong basics, really, of the, of, the, um, of the set. So, right then, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? I've got a good feeling. We're going to jet with him for four. He's got 30 cards for halfway. Son of a bitch! Captured for my God of War. So all we've got to do is rip a switch or rip an energy and we can uh, get that guy out of the way and get back on the serious business in jet woofing. Jet woofing. <laughs> all he has is Zapdos, Vile Plume and Glue. He's a super right then back. Oh, look at that. Rip a switch. And <laughs> that's how we roll. We rip a switch. Jet woof for another four. And is that the Cabal? Yeah, he literally has gone for the full complement. Why play Zekrom and Zapdos? I guess you've got the Snipe, but... Sniping won't do times four. And Emmy, yeah, cool man. Give me a whole new hand. Fan fucking tastic. And we've got an energy there, and we also evolve our Wu Bat on the bench. And we've got end. So this is looking good. So we can play another um, um, Zekrom and a Zapdos. But that Terrakion is stuck there. It's sitting there, and it's going to stay there for a long time. Oh, but he, he's going to catch her forward. So we could Skylar for the for the switch. We just attach an energy. So first of all, let's uh, give ourselves a bit more HP. And uh, are we going to Skylar for the switch? Should we Skylar? Oh, we don't really want to end him because he's only got a two-card hand. So please don't end him. Please Skylar for the switch. Good. <laughs> there we go. Skylar for the switch. Exactly what we need. And we'll go back into the Wubat that has all the energies on it. And we'll stick another energy on that guy. And are we going to do anything with that giant cape? Because we could do something with that giant cape. We could do something with that little ball. Nope. And we are going to Jet Woo for again. Ah, oh, DCE. Yes. Lots of cards. Good, good, good. 19 cards left in his deck. I'm feeling good. This could be it. And we were his scoops. It, we've done it. We have done it. The Swoobat has won. I can't believe I don't have to play this deck anymore. <laughs> so happy about that fact. So Swoobat is the man. Look at his fucking face. So cool, hope you guys enjoyed this bad deck game. Uh, next match, I promise to play something good and then we'll be back on to something bad afterwards. So if you guys have any ideas, like bad decks you want me to play or, you know, I'll just do something that I want to do anyway. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit and I'll catch you later. Bye.